Welcome campers. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Devos Outdoor Light Ranger system. We're going to be going over the features and the specs of these awesome little lights and why I think they're a great addition to your overlanding gear or just keep around your house. And also at the end of the video, I'm going to have an awesome test showing off how much light these really let off. So stay tuned. The Devos Outdoor Light Ranger light system is a 90 degree to 360 degree light setup on a telescoping aluminum pole that goes from 39 inches tall all the way up to 104 inches, which is about nine feet tall. And the Light Ranger system can be used for multiple things, either for overlanding to help light up your camp at night, or if you need to work on your rig at home, or just light up a giant area for either backyard barbecues or family events. So when you order the Devos Light Ranger system, it comes with several different options. The first option is the base with the legs, with a hammer in stake, a bag to hold everything, along with the Light Ranger itself and a charger cord. And then if you choose the second option, you can add the additional 10 watt solar panel with the Light Ranger receiver that clips onto the top of the light ranger so it'll stay fastened on there and charge the light ranger during the day the third option is a two pack of the light rangers without the solar panel and then the fourth option is the two pack of light rangers with the solar panels and now that we've gone over what comes in the box and the additional options that you could choose to add to your light ranger setup Let's get inside so I can really get in depth on the Light Ranger itself and the solar panel and everything else. So now that we're inside, I'm gonna go over each piece one by one, just going through the specs, the materials and everything like that so we could get really in depth and you guys could get an idea about these products. I do have their product sheet pulled up on the iPad so all my information will be accurate for you guys. The first thing I'm going to go over is the pole itself. It is a anodized aluminum and the total weight of it weighs one pound and five ounces and it is removable from this base. Move it, remove it real fast for you guys so that you can install it on the spike that goes along with it. So if you don't want your base to be a tripping hazard, you could hammer this spike right into the ground and lock it right into place. So now that we've gone over the base, let's go over the specs of the Light Ranger itself. The dimensions is five and a quarter inches by four and a half by four and a half, and it weighs one pound and five ounces. So it does have some heft to it. On full blast, it is 1200 lumens that is adjustable. And on high, it is four hours of runtime all the way to 16 hours on low. It does have uh, up to 360 degrees of coverage with all four sides on on high. When you have only two sides on, on medium, it is 180 degrees of coverage. And then with one side on, it is 90 degrees of coverage. And as you're charging it, which it does have a battery level indicator while it is off, it is currently between 67 and 100% charged while it's blinking green. If it was blinking yellow, it's between 34 and 66%, and red is 0 to 33%. The light spectrum on it is cool white with 5,000 Kelvin, so it does let off a light, you know, cool white light to light up the area so it doesn't blind you or anything. And it is a lithium ion battery with 10,400 milliamp hours of capacity if you're using the option of the solar panel on top it does take eight hours to charge it from completely dead to a hundred percent using the micro usb and the supplied micro usb cord the material it is made out of is an abs plastic at least the lantern body and then a polycarbonate lens when you are charging other devices with the included USB on the bottom. So this does, so this is actually a power bank, which is awesome. It does have a 3.7 volts at 2.4 amps coming out of the USB. It is IPX4 water resistant. 
So it can hold up to the rain or anything that is thrown at it. And what's awesome too is it has this little grommet at the top that you can hang it using a carabiner and a wire or paracord or anything if you just want it suspended above your camp. It is solar capable with the uh, supplied solar panel that you can have as an option. And you can use this in up to thir from 32 degrees to 113 degrees charging it. And then the operating temp is negative four degrees to 113 degrees. And now that we've gone over the specs, the features and the details of the Light Ranger and everything that goes with it, Let's go on outside, let's have a late night test to really see how much light that this thing puts out. Well, all right, boys and girls, I couldn't find a perfectly dark place. I think living around a city, that's practically impossible. But I did find my local park all the lights are off. They're not playing any baseball games or anything like that. So I figured the outfield of a baseball field will be the perfect place to do all of our testing. As you can see, these lights, I will measure, but they're probably about 40 to 50 feet apart and they are letting out a ton of light. They're on full blast right now on the highest setting and it's lighting up just about this entire area. So I think these are great, but I will, uh, start measuring from the edge of like where the light kind of tapers off all the way to the other side where that light tapers off and we'll get a uh, general idea of how much total area you could light up to either play cornhole games you know light up your barbecue outside light up a workspace outside working on your rig or you know lighting up camp so i'll grab our uh, measuring device and I will walk from end to end and let's get a measurement. I'm gonna take a guess. I'm gonna say 120 feet of usable light. Hopefully I'm right. I mean, if it's more, that would be awesome, but uh, we will see. And as you can see in the background, all of the lightning in the distance, we are in the middle of monsoon season. So just about since the start of monsoon season about a month ago we've been getting lightning storms uh scattered thunderstorms and rain just about every night so that has been great so we don't have to worry about forest fires or uh you know the desert dying on us i'm gonna go just about to the fence i think that's about the amount of usable light that will be good uh, comment down below on your guys' guesses. I'm going to check right now, and my guess was 120 feet. 143 and a half. So that is the usable light with the light rangers on high. Now I'm going to put them on medium, get them reset up just like I did with these, and then let's see how much light we can get with that, and then I'll do the same thing on low. All right, here's our second walkthrough on medium. I think the medium is great for if, let's say you put these lights against like the back wall of your property or your yard and you want to light up the yard for, you know, a barbecue or a party or if you just want to keep light contained in your camp and you don't want to flood it out to the forest behind your camp or the area behind your camp, you can have it on and just light up your camp itself. And then now I think we are at about the end of the usable light area. Let's see our guess. I'm going to say about 110 feet, 128 feet and 10 inches. I will put it on low and uh, we will get that measurement. I'm going to say this is a uh, significantly less uh, light filling up this area. So I'm going to say about 80 feet, but I think a good use case for the low setting on this is, uh, you know, you just want area lighting while you're sleeping in camp. So if you have to wake up in the middle of the night to use the restroom or grab a drink from the fridge or the cooler, you know, you're not fumbling with a flashlight and it's not pitch black as you're trying to get to your cooler or use the bathroom. I mean, that will be mine and Natalie's main use for these lights is just lighting up camp at night so it doesn't bother anybody else that we're camping with or you know, 
just leave tons of light pollution in the area. 89 and a half feet or 89 feet, five inches. So I think that's a, that's great. And I mean, you can always, let me set this down. You can always have these in other ways. You know, let's say you have your light set up like that and you have your rig right here in the middle or to, you know, light up a camp or the area you're going to use the restroom in the middle of the wilderness or just, uh, you know, if you want kind of mood lighting to help light up an area, if, you know, it's right before bed and you're camping with other people. This can easily, with the light being over there, if you can't see it, it lets off enough light to not destroy your night vision, but it does, uh, you know, give you enough so you can see what you're doing. All right, you guys, we are all done with the testing, at least at my local park. I think it was really important to show you guys the amount of area the lights cover on high, medium, and low, and come up with a real number for it so you could see if these are worth it for your use case, either, you know, camping, barbecuing, lighting up your yard for events or lighting up an area or just needing them to work on your rig. But now that we're done with the testing, I'll give you guys my final thoughts and we'll end off this video. So my final thoughts on the Devos Outdoors Light Ranger light kit, I honestly think they're worth it. Even if you buy just the one or the two pack without the solar panels or with the solar panels, I think they're strong enough and they're built well enough that they'll handle anything you throw at them. Honestly, they're having sales all the time on their website. And I do have an affiliate link down below in the description that gives you 10% off your order also. So if you do want to buy some, click on that link down in the description and save you some money. But I really want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, you guys.